34 years ago, the founder of Lotus Cars, Colin Chapman, unveiled the radical Lotus Super 7. Now, this car has been described as the closest thing to a go-kart you can buy for the street. Production of the Super 7 was later taken over by independent British car builder Caterham. But this version is being built under license by a company on Vancouver Island in British Columbia, Canada. It's called just Super 7, and what's different about this version primarily is what's under the hood. It has a 1300cc Suzuki Hayabusa motorcycle engine, and it comes with a six-speed sequential manual motorcycle transmission that's matched with a car-like gear lever. This Super 7 is slightly wider than the Caterham Super 7, so there's enough room for two 6'5 adults, and the trunk has enough luggage space for a weekend getaway. With its lightweight tubular space frame, aluminum body panels, and composite nose and fenders, the Super 7 weighs just over 1,000 pounds, or 475 kilograms. Clutch engagement is very sensitive when starting out, but once you get the Super 7 going, it really goes. The high-revving Suzuki Hayabusa engine pumps out 185 horsepower at close to 10,000 RPM. The Super 7 can rocket from 0 to 60 in under 4 seconds. It's a great sound, but it's loud. You really have to keep the revs up high on this engine or you're going to get a lurching motion in the car. The steering is super fast and the handling is unbelievable because the Super 7 sits so low to the ground. But the ride, surprisingly enough, is quite comfortable. Changing gears is as easy as pulling back to change up and pushing forwards to change down. Neutral is halfway between first and second set. Wherever you go in the Super 7, you're going to get a lot of attention, but you don't need to worry about it being stolen because this car comes with the ultimate anti-theft device. You just pop off the steering wheel and take it with you. Just don't forget to bring it back when you return.